Hello and welcome to Eurogamer TV. I'm Bertie, a writer for Eurogamer.net, and I'm here today showing you Secret Ponchos, uh, which is a game made by Switchblade Monkeys, originally for PS4, unveiled at the PlayStation meeting roughly, uh, well, a year and a half ago nearly now. Uh, it's also on PC, that was added later, and it's out on early access now on Steam. Uh, normal price $10.99, a bit cheaper now at $8.24. Uh, so I jumped in, um, <laughs> you actually can't play with PC controls, you need uh, a controller which is a bit weird, uh, so I plugged a PlayStation 4 controller in uh, and it worked just fine, uh, you can use an Xbox 360 pad um, if you don't want it, <laughs> if you're that loyal to uh, Microsoft. So this is an online multiplayer deathmatch game uh, at the moment, um, there's, it's early access so it's not complete obviously. Um, there is just free for all deathmatch at the moment, but 2v2 uh, is being added. Uh, this is one of my outlaw outlaws, that's Bertie, my main one. This is a bit of customization. I can take perk points away, put perk points on, stack them into damage, obviously, so, so I can uh, make some kills uh, sometimes. I don't know how I got a bounty of uh, 10,000, uh, but somehow I did, uh, even though I lost every game yesterday, so I think that might be a glitch. Uh, but I'm going to create a new character here. Uh, well, I'm going to show you what the characters are. This is a killer. See, they have a difficulty thing down the bottom. So, uh, the big fat deserter guy, uh, who you'll see first in action, um, is is much easier to get to grip with, grips with straight away. Uh, whereas the phantom poncho, who's my favourite, uh, was much trickier, and I sucked. Uh, there's also another one. There's the killer here who throws knives and has a six shooter. Uh, and there's the kid or something like that who has a bomb that she can chuck around to stun people. Um, so I'm going to show you in practice mode first what this guy can do, how the game works. This is the deserter chat. Like, again, you can see some options there that I can't use. Um, it suggests there's maybe eight, eight player multiplayer but there's only four in this. There's a few maps. Unfortunately I only choose one map uh, so it, and it's in the dark so it wasn't a very good choice. Uh, but I'm sure you'll get over that. That looks like there's a lot of buttons. There aren't really. Uh, there's a primary fire on the trigger uh, and a secondary fire on the bumper, the right bumper. Um, the primary fire, uh, you hold down, aim with your right stick, move with your left stick, as you do in most games, a bit twin stick shootery. That's me moving around, that's me aiming. I'm good so far. Uh, a test shot there. Uh, incidentally, uh, YouTube is capped at 30 frames per second. I'm pretty sure the game was running at 60 frames a second, so if it seems a little stuttery, that's why. I can't do anything about that, sorry. Uh, this is me switching with triangle or Y, depending on what pad you've used, uh, to my secondary weapon, which in the deserter's case is a med kit uh, and also a stimulant boost. That's me using a special attack of his. Uh, you can see the attacks there, which is like a long range shot, which damages, but obviously it's slow to load and you can miss, uh, and missing does leave you vulnerable, uh, and you have stamina underneath your health bar there, uh, which governs uh, your abilities that you can use. The deserter has this uh, slightly OP, overpowered, charge ability, which stuns people, and he can use it in close range. Um, he's also got a lot of health. Um, I think he's probably a bit overpowered, uh, and he has a wonderful ability uh, where if you hold down the right bumper uh, and then charge and push your uh, right stick towards someone, uh, you can use the uh, bayonet attachment on the end of your gun to run into someone, spear them, and then you can shoot them off the end, uh, which is brilliant, um, and stuns them. They can't do much about that. It's hard to line up, but you'll see it in action a little bit in this round. Um, I've been playing, that's a power up instantly next to me, which boosts my speed. Um, so here I go zipping around. So you'll see me hopefully uh, line up one of my, my spears soon. So that's the charge, the shoulder charge. That's her stunning me with her bomb attack. That's a health pack on the floor. I'm trying to line up a shot there. Uh, I'm shooting someone who's not paying any attention. Uh, which is a bit cowardly, but I just wanted to show you what killing someone is like, honest. That's me taking cover. When you take cover behind an object, uh, you disappear to the other person. They can't see you. 
uh, which is quite nifty. Um, so this guy's heavy and slow. That's his drawback, I guess. Uh, you only have four shots of ammo. Some people have six. The guy with a six shoot has six, obviously. Uh, the ammo runs out. It's quite slow to reload. Uh, so that's another thing to take into account when you're when you're charging around. So each class has a kind of stun ability. That was me there. I speared him and, uh, and shot him off the bat. Um, the game's a little glitchy at the moment. It's early access. Um, I got knocked halfway across a map a couple of times. Uh, and you're about to see me, uh, or in a moment, knock someone uh, outside the boundary of play here. So there they go. And actually they were stuck out there for a little while. So I have to skip the video on uh, in a moment as I'm uh, stimulating myself there as I run. There's a kind of double damage buff that pops up in the middle there, and there's a, a stamina uh, buff that uh, gives you infinite stamina for a little while, so you can, other classes can charge and use their abilities and keep going. That's the stamina buff, infinite stamina. Uh, this attack doesn't use his stamina, but... There we go, speared her there. Speared her and shot her. Makes me look brilliant. I was playing this game for about... It's about four or five hours I've been playing. Um, and when I started playing, I played as the Phantom Poncho, who I'm going to play as next uh, in this. Um, and I was really bad, and I was getting really frustrated with it. I won that match. That's not common. Don't get used to that site. Um, when you win, here you go, uh, you see points are added to your bounty. Uh, again, yesterday I lost all the games, but still managed to have a massive bounty. I don't understand how that worked. I think I broke the game. So, this is the Phantom Poncho. He's got a shotgun, and he's got a whip, which is brilliant. Uh, and he's got a dash ability, but he uses his stamina, so he can run out of stamina quite quickly. Um, he's a bit fragile compared to that big fat guy I was playing as a moment ago. Uh, his health is less, he's got a bit more stamina, he's a bit quicker. Um, his shotgun's not all powerful either. If you get close to someone, uh, it's not like you can just blast them to pieces. So I'm gonna run through a couple of his uh, abilities. This is just him. Uh, moving, he's very stylish. He's like uh, he's like the guy out of the Nightmare Before Christmas with a, a sombrero on and a poncho, uh, which looks fantastic. Uh, so he has a kind of charge ability here with his shotgun, which uh, lets off a powerful shot with a bit more range. This is his whip though. So when he stuns with just a normal hit, you have to aim it, and then if you charge it, you can grab someone by the neck, pull them towards you, and then shoot them. Uh, so that is how it should work. You see how much health that uh, that deserter had there. So I'm going to jump into a game here uh, and fight some real people with my uh, my phantom poncho. So that suggests there are eight slots for characters here. Uh, only four of them are filled up at the moment, uh, which is why you're seeing the placeholder red-headed person there uh, filling up um, four of the slots. So there's buffs on the floor there. You can see the stamina buff. Uh, and the double damage buff in the top left there. Again, I'm sorry for that I kept choosing this level. That wasn't a conscious decision. I just didn't know what I was doing. Um, there's a kind of dusty graveyard area. Uh, there's a train wreck area. You can go inside the buildings as well, but um, I didn't for some reason. Um, what's the opposite of agoraphobic? Maybe that's me. So I'm trying to charge up my whip ability here so that I can capture someone by the neck. Thankfully, no one's paying any attention to me. Uh, and you can whip behind cover, which seems to be a bonus. Uh, but I can't get it working there. Uh, and I'm about to get um, killed quite quickly. Not doing so well, but don't worry. That's a, a power-up. That's a, speedy, a speed boost. Uh, so matches don't last that long. Um, as you can see, there's a, uh, a counter ticking down at the top there. There we go. Dead. Doing a bit better now. Running away seems to be a good option. You run in, run back out. Um, I, I don't know how this looks on PlayStation 4, incidentally. Um, this is the PC build. I don't know um, if they are going to be identical. I assume the PlayStation 4 version was, was being made first. Don't know who's publishing it. Maybe Sony was publishing it. 
Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to try and check all of these things out. I'm also not sure when the game is coming out on PlayStation 4. Um, it was supposed to be coming out sometime in April, uh, but has been held back until we don't know when. Again, I'm trying to check this out with the developer Switchblade Monkeys to find out uh, when we're going to play it on PlayStation 4. It does have split screen um, as well, so two people, I think just two people, uh, can play on your PlayStation 4, presumably online, I'm not sure. Someone there has got a, uh, what looks like a damage bug next to which is why I've died so, so damn quickly. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be any discrepancies between what you're actually seeing um, here on the Early Access Steam build um, and the PlayStation 4 build. I might expect the PlayStation 4 build is in 1080p at 60 frames a second. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Again, <laughs> helpfully, I have no idea. So here I am. You can see, obviously, how good I am. That's a dash ability, left bumper. You've seen me kind of swooping to people and I can charge my uh, whip and swoop at the same time which is help helpful but it burns my stamina. Also don't know how much this game is going to cost on PlayStation 4. I expect around £10 mark the same as on Steam because why would it cost more or less? So like I mentioned there are two other classes. Uh, you're seeing one there that I've, I've just got round the neck and I'm shooting. Um, she has two guns, shoots quite quickly. Uh, can roll around and also toss dynamite which has an area of effect kind of stun ability you see her losing lots of uh, ammo there um, there's also um, the killer I think he was called uh, which is a guy who has a six shooter he uh, kind of fights at distance a little bit more if his knife hits you he has to pick up his knife when he throws it he can slash with his knife uh, at the cost of stamina or he can throw his knife this is, if his knife gets you it stabs you in the back causes quite a lot of damage and it also stuns you which gives him a chance to run up to you and uh, you see you know kill you so the, de the developer is adding a 2v2 mode to this early access build uh, I saw on Twitter a moment ago I don't know which other modes are coming uh, presumably that there are lots of options for team play uh, so I could presumably I could with my whip I could uh, snag someone by the neck uh, while someone else uh, runs in and, and, and beats them up I thought I did pretty well there and I'm not on the scoreboard at all um, I can only imagine something else has gone wrong here's me collecting some bounty so that's it that's a brief look um, at uh, secret ponchos. Um, please subscribe to Eurogamer using the link below uh, for more videos like this, more Let's Plays. Uh, alternatively, we'll be writing about the game on the site eurogamer.net, so do visit us there for news about secret ponchos and everything else you can possibly think of. That's it for me. Thank you. Bye.